Hey guys, have you ever been to a craft fair or a specialty yarn shop and found that perfect skein of yarn? Just so unique and beautiful, you had to have it, even if it was a bit on the pricier side. You are not alone. In today's video, we are going to dive into the world of specialty size two weight sport weight yarn and how to make the most out of just one skein. While specialty yarns can sometimes be more expensive, the magic's in the quality. The unique textures, the stunning colors. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. <laughs> and the beauty of buying just one skein, it's budget friendly <laughs> and it challenges us to get creative. So let's jump into 15 fabulous projects you can make with just one precious skein. As I grow as a crocheter, I find myself experimenting with all kinds of yarn, different fibers, textures, and colors, and feels. It's so much fun, and you can experiment too. So when we are talking about what projects we can make with a size two weight yarn, just be aware that not all yarn is created the same, and one yarn might work for a project much better than another one. It's very, very common to find yarn that has merino wool in it. This yarn is very soft, and oftentimes the merino wool will be joined with a nylon. The nylon is gonna give it that stretch, make it nice, comfy, cozy, makes for great beanies, makes for those socks. It's really nice to have that nylon in there. But there is some yarn like this 100% bamboo yarn that I have here, no nylon, it's just 100% plant-based, there's no stretch. I would not wanna make a pair of socks with this. I would not wanna make a beanie with this. It would not give me that comfort. Honestly, if I made a pair of socks with this, it would slide on and slide off, but there'd be no, no grab at my ankle, if that makes any sense. But this is plant-based, so, it's gonna be hypoallergenic. There are a lot of people that are allergic to animal hair products. So be aware of that before you purchase your rather expensive skein of yarn. Is the person that you are making the item for allergic to animal hair? So it's a great question to be prepped with before you begin. There's so many different textures too, and this is going to affect the look of the yarn that you're playing with. Right here, I have a sheep wool that is mixed with a little bit of alpaca and a little bit of mohair, but this yarn has this crimped look to it. That crimped look will play a role in how your finished project looks. This is buffalo. Buffalo yarn is warm. It gets hot. A pair of socks will be awesome, or, or a pair of, of mittens would be great. All things to keep in mind when you are selecting the size two sport weight yarn for your project. First up, let's delve into the art of lace making with the delicate doily. This elegant piece can adorn your coffee table or add a touch of sophistication to your home decor. Doilies are beautiful. Number two, make a beautiful table runner. It's perfect for special occasions, elevating the dining experience, and making a statement in your dining room. Number three, you could also craft a cozy scarf for those chilly days. Wrapping yourself in that warm accessory will not only keep you snug, but it will also add a stylish layer to your outfit. Number four, if a scarf is just not right for your skein of yarn, what about a cowl? The versatility of a cowl not only keeps you warm, but it adds this chic touch to your winter wardrobe that effortlessly elevates your style. Number five, socks. Let's crochet up a pair of socks to keep our toesies toasty. <laughs> Hand crocheted socks offer unparalleled comfort while also adding this unique personalization to your outfit. Number six, how about a pair of fingerless gloves to keep your hands warm while you work or type? These gloves are perfect at keeping your hands warm without sacrificing your dexterity, making them great for that chilly office or studio. Hmm. Number seven, if you prefer full coverage, make a pair of gloves. Not only will they keep your hands warm, but they'll add a fashion statement. Did you ever see the movie Coraline? 
There's a scene in that movie where she is trying on a pair of orange striped gloves. I bet they were made with a size 2-8 yarn, too. <laughs> Every time I see the scene, I think to myself, man, I'd love to make something like that. Number eight, let's crochet a belt with tassels. Crocheted belts offer bold colors and pizzazz to whatever it is that you're wearing, taking something that is boring and forgettable and turning it into an eye-catching outfit. Number nine, feeling whimsical? Try your hand at some small amigurumis. These charming creations can brighten your home, serving as delightful decorations or thoughtful gifts. Number 10, you could crochet some colorful and unique granny squares. Oh my goodness, granny squares made with that really lightweight size two weight yarn offer so many possibilities. You could join these squares together and make a very light and airy wearable or a pillow cover or a wall hang or curtains or even a lightweight blanket that you could enjoy during those warmer months. Number 11, need a quick accessory? Crochet up a headband. This chic accessory adds a fashionable element to any outfit. Number 12, how about a crocheted bookmark? Crocheted bookmarks make for fantastic gifts for those book enthusiasts in your life. You can get quite creative too with the crochet stitches that you want to use or the colors, but try to avoid anything too bumpy. Number 13, why not keep yourself warm in multiple ways with a small shawl? You could either wear it draped over your shoulders or flip it around so that way it's a bandana scarf. Either way that you wear it, the pop of color is going to be a beautiful addition to any outfit. Number 14, how about a sleek clutch? This elegant accessory is perfect for the evening out, adding a touch of glamor to any ensemble. Number 15, let's create some crocheted flowers. These miniature embellishments could literally be used for anything, adding a touch of personality, color, or uniqueness to your current crochet project or to a piece of clothing. And there's so many different flowers that you can choose from. The options are literally endless. So there you have it, 15 fabulous once gained projects that you can use to put your beautiful artisan yarn to good use. If there was a project that I showed in this video today that got you really excited, you're going to want to check out my blog. I'll put a link in the description section below for you. In the blog, I'll have images of the different projects that I showed in this video. All you have to do is click the link, get the pattern, and then you can make that item that got you excited. If you liked this video or this video inspired you, please push that thumbs up button. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet already so you don't miss my upcoming videos. And share this video with a friend who really enjoys yarn. Guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you have the best day and I will see you with the next video. Bye guys.